My name is Kathy Finger and I teach accounting in SEBA and the class I'm teaching is Accounting 1 and it was going to be taught to primarily first semester freshmen. And even in the best of times, it's difficult to keep students engaged in this class because let's face it, it's not the most exciting thing in the world and uh, very difficult. And also it's incredibly important to get students engaged from the beginning because the class is very much like a train. And if they miss the train, it's gonna be very hard to catch it. And having to do this online, I was really afraid of having a bunch of students end up failing the course because they had missed the train. So I knew that I needed to do something to help engage the students and thought about uh, attending the wonderful summer sessions and getting some ideas about how I could engage them and make the class interesting for them. So in facing all of these obstacles and wanting to keep my students engaged, I knew that I didn't want to do the same lecture style every day in class as I always had done. So I recorded lectures and embedded quiz questions in there that would um, allow the students to earn points for watching the videos and get practice with quiz questions, but not allow them to skip ahead in the videos and just skip watching the videos. I'd have them watch those videos Wednesday morning and that would free up about 40 minutes of class time during the week to do fun things. So for example, we would play the Kahoot game every Monday morning after students had submitted homework on Sunday night. It gave them feedback about what they did know and what they didn't know from the homework. And I would also break them out into groups Friday afternoons and have them practice together problems that they were going to be doing on their homework due Sunday night. And that would also allow them to get to know each other the best way that they could. I thought it was very important when designing my course to have it be very consistent. So I would have homework due online every Sunday night. I would have Kahoot problems games every Monday morning and then I would have the group projects every Friday afternoon. So the students always knew exactly what they were going to have to do and when they were gonna to have to do it. I have to say by doing all of these things, it made it much more fun for me to teach rather than just staring at a screen and lecturing all the time. But also I was really facing a group of engaged students every day. They loved the Kahoot game. They were competitive with each other. It really helped with their learning. I expected my exam scores to be lower than they were in the typical terms, but they weren't lower. And um, it was just a lot of fun to teach this way. And so going forward, I'm going to maintain a lot of this. Uh, even when we're in the room face to face, we can still play the Kahoot game together and I'll still keep it, it very consistent. I think it'll work even better in person. My evaluations were better than they've ever been for this class before. The students really loved um, getting to know each other in the breakout rooms and um, uh, they had a great time with the class. So I really want to stress how I could not have done this without my wonderful colleagues who did those sessions over the last summer. Uh, as I say, you can teach an old dog new tricks. I've been teaching 30 years and I did a lot of things I never would have expected. Uh, so I want to express tremendous appreciation to everyone, um, colleagues, ed tech, everybody for helping me through this process and making it much better for me and my students.